Hello beautiful people, it's your girl Daisy Dukes aka The Shot Stripper. So today we're going to be talking about the audition process for the club. So there's different ways that auditions go depending on the club, depending on where you're at. Um, I'm going to talk about four different ways that I've experienced the audition process. So the first way. The first way was actually at a black club. And it was, it's like a really known black club. Um, I'm not going to say the name. But the way that they do it is you just do a body check. So you go there. Um, you fill out your application. You give them a, uh, your ID so that they can copy it and, and whatnot. They ask, may ask you a few questions like, have you danced before? Have you had any experience in the club? Then you do your body check. So you're literally standing there with the hiring manager. You pull up your shirt, show your titties, you pull down your pants, show your ass, and you turn around in a circle, and they look at you, and then they're like, okay. And then you step out the office for a little bit, they're going to deliberate, and come back and tell you yes or no. Now, with my experience, um, the hiring manager said that they don't tell you why they say yes or no, they just do it. So, unfortunately, I didn't get hired at that club. Um, I guess I wasn't their look at the time, but that's one way. So the second way that an audition can go is through an actual stage audition. So I did this one on my the first club that I worked at. So the first club that I worked at was a white club. It was a little in a little hick town. Um, mm, our club is a mess. But basically, I went there with my friend. We had saw that they had posted it on Facebook or Instagram or something like that, that they were having auditions on Sunday around 8, 7 to 10 p.m. or something like that. So we went there around 8. We got there. The hiring manager or the main general manager period at that club was this white lady. She was super, super sweet. And so she gave us the option to... We could audition together on stage at the same time, or we could audition separately to show like our own individual thing. Um, we would also have to audition to two different songs. So the first song we got to choose, and the second song is a club is a song that the club would choose because it would be a song that they would pretty much play normally in that club, like it's their typical style, which is usually country or like rock or different stuff. Um, so the song that we chose to dance to was Wetter by Twister. And we, so we came prepared. We had like our, our bags, we had our outfits, we had our shoes, our pleaser shoes. Um, she told us to go get changed in the bathroom. We were trying to figure out if we were dancing with each other because we were so nervous. So we decided to do that. And we got on stage. First of all, those are the longest seven minutes of my life because. Like, I never knew that two songs could feel so long. So, the way the stage was set up, it's like a rectangle. So, in the back part of the stage, um, a, furthest away from the audience is where the pole is. And there's a mirror. The pole spins. In the front part of the stage, closest to the audience, there's two static poles on either side. And then, in the middle, there's, like, some handlebars that you can hold on to if you want to. So, my friend, she had been taking pole classes for... A month or whatever so she decided to hog up the pole and stay over there just like doing whatever tricks that she learned from her class me I don't know what the hell to do because there's nothing for me to do and the poles up in the front didn't spin I really didn't know anything back then so I was like okay well I'm gonna just twerk in different ways and call it a day cuz I don't know what I'm doing um and mind you like at that time it was customers there it was dancers that worked there. Um, they were all looking at us. Like, they literally took a front seat to look at us while we were auditioning. And that shit was so scary. And so, I kept looking out to see if the manager was, like, looking at us. Because from what I, when I was doing my research and preparing, um, if the manager's looking at you, then that's a good thing. If they're not looking at you, then they're bored and they don't want you there. So, she was looking at us. 
some of the girls were smiling, some of the customers were smiling. I don't know if it's because they were laughing because we were doing a bad job. Or <laughs> maybe we were doing a good job. But either way, I was just twerking, I was just doing whatever. I don't know. It was like, it just went like that. So I really don't know what I was doing at that point. I got on the pole for probably five seconds during that whole time. And that was it. The second song that they played for us was some country, typical white club song. I don't know. But anyways, so when we were coming down, we were coming down off the stage. I just knew that I didn't make it. I knew that my friend was going to make it. And I knew that she was going to be like, yeah, I'm sorry, but you didn't make it. But that's not what happened. She told my, she said, okay, so I'm going to hire both of y'all. Um, she hired my friend because she was a bigger black girl and she needed one of she needed a bigger black girl because she's trying to reach like every type of customer. So she's trying to get at least every type of girl up in the club. And then she hired me because I have like a natural look. And that's back when I didn't realize that I was supposed to go to work and wear makeup because I don't like wearing makeup, as you can tell already. I'm always coming up here natural face. Um, but yeah, and I had my hair natural. I don't, I think I just had it out. I don't know. So she was like, yeah, as long as you like continue to wear your hair in its natural state, you don't plan to get no weaves or anything or wear a wig or anything. Like, I would love that. Like, I need you to come here just natural. I need that. There's guys during day shift that would love the both of y'all. And that's when y'all are going to make the most money. And she was right. That's definitely when I made the most money. audition that I've been through is not really an audition it's more of like a little talk or whatever so this was at one of the last white clubs that I worked at um so basically with this club you have to come in at a certain time get an application fill it out and then the owner will be there from Tuesday to Saturday after nine so you come in turn it in while he's there and he'll like bring you over to the side and basically interview. Um, so I did that. I had to do that three times though because I guess on my first two applications, my availability wasn't what he wanted, but the third time it was. So we talked a little bit and I guess he does that to see like if you're friendly or if you'll, you know, work out with some of the other girls. And plus he's also looking, he is checking you to see if you're cute or not because he usually doesn't hire any ugly girls. That brings the club down. So we talked for, well, mainly he talked. And I was just like, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, I can do that, sure. And then he showed me around the club, locker room, VIP room, champagne, both sides of the club with the stages. And he showed me how, told me how everything works, the prices, stuff like that. And boom, I had the job. I came in. I went in that Tuesday for that. So then I, my first day of working was Friday. Last type of audition that I've been through was where there was literally no audition, like no talking, no audition, no nothing. And this was at the um, other two black clubs that are here. And this, I don't know if this works for a lot of other black clubs um, in other cities or states or whatever, but that's how it was here. So basically, all you got to do is go in, hey, I'm new, I'm trying to work. Okay. You fill out your application, you give them your ID so that they could take a copy, and boom, you pay your house fee, you're ready to work. They'll walk you around, explain the, well, no, they won't even walk you around, really. Um, but they'll explain the rules, like, you can't walk here, you can't walk here. It's real ghetto, to be honest. But that's literally it. Like, they don't care about the quality of the girls that they're hiring. They just care about the quantity because that house fee is going towards them. It's going towards, like the house mom, the DJ, the security or whatever. So they don't they literally do not care about who they hire. You could be butt ugly and they don't care. Ooh, you can work. And they don't care how much money you make at that at the end of the night. They all they care about is getting their house fee. Point blank simple.